Hello, God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome each and every one of you on this very throne. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I say peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. I hope you had a great day today. I was warm, blessed, beautiful, good. Yes, amen to that. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. What a great day, a blessed day, the last day. The day we shall rejoice and be glad in it. The Lord is good all the time. All the time, the Lord is good. Dear friends, I want us to know that the Lord is good. And He is good to you. He is good to me. He has done me well. And He can do you well. Do you know something? No one can ever have an encounter with the Lord. I remain the same. I met the Lord more than 18 years ago. I became born again. I gave my life to Jesus Christ. I received Christ, the Messiah, as my Lord and my personal Savior. He turned my life around. He gave me the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of wisdom, the Spirit of peace and tranquility. That is what is obtainable in Christ Jesus. When you come to Christ, when you are born again, He will give you the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. When that Spirit is in you, He will transform you. He will change you. When He comes, He brings blessings. When He comes, He brings peace. So my dear friends, I want to invite you today to this wonderful experience of being born again in Christ Jesus. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about you acknowledging that you are a sinner. You cannot save yourself because the core problem of mankind is sin. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of God's glory. Coming short of God's glory is sin. God is a holy God, a perfect God, but man is sinful. Man is weak. Man is limited in so many aspects. So, in the Garden of Eden, the Bible says sin entered into the world. What happened? The first man God created, Adam. He disobeyed the voice of God. Simple instruction, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Don't touch it. If you do, you will die. But the arch enemy of God, the most powerful angel, the most intelligent angel, the most beautiful angel God ever made, without having to replicate himself, that is Lucifer. And do you know what happened? He became proud. He wanted to be like God. He was kicked out. He was banished from heaven. He became the arch enemy of man. He cannot fight God because God is almighty. He is the omnipotent. But the only way he could get to God is to afflict man. So man was sidelined from his creator. That is how sin entered into our creation. Since then, death came. That is why people are getting sick. People do ask me a question. He there is God. Why are you this and that? You are blaming a wrong God. Satan is a murderer. He is a wicked being. He's a rebel. He's sinned. So he is one that brought death. When sin came, death came. But do you know something happened? God in his wisdom. Do you know what he did? On the cross of Calvary, God became a man in the person of Christ. He went to that cross and he died for you and me. That is what the wisdom of God. The Lord stooped to conquer and he crushed the power of hell. And do you know something? The war is over. Because the price of your sin has been paid for, all you have to do is to repent from your sins. Meaning, if you are a liar, stop telling lies. Whether white lies or black lies or red lies, notwithstanding the color of your lies, stop telling lies. The Bible says, Satan the devil is the papa, the daddy of all liars. And no liar shall see heaven. So you stop telling lies, you ask God to forgive you your sins. You put your faith in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus Christ is the only name that saves. There is no other name. 
I want to let you know, people think that God is against them. No, God is not against you. He is for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! I feel like preaching now. God is for you. He is not against you, friend. You know, the problem is this. Because man is sinful, when we are confronted with our sin, we become angry. You know, when I was living in sin, when I was sleeping around, going to devil's house, masturbating and watching porn, if you tell me anything about God, I became mad at you. I'm telling you. In fact, if they tell me to go to church, I became mad. It was my sin. Because I know if I go to church, I will be convicted. But do you know something? September 19, 1999, my life was changed. I became born again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord was given to me. My life was changed. Today, I am a new creation. Guess what? I am inviting you to this wonderful experience. Christ in you, the hope of glory. There is no one like Jesus. It is no religion. Religion is a mental health disease. I'm telling you the truth. That is religion. People keep for religion. But Christ is life. Do you know what he says? He said, I am come that they might have life and have this life more abundantly. Abundant life. Eternal life. Endless life. That is the life that Christ offers to you. Religion cannot give you that. So my dear friend, please, you may have tried drugs and drugs failed you. You may have tried women, tall one, fat one, short one. You tried all of them and they all failed you. And you're looking for more. Please, try my Jesus. He will not fail you. You may have tried, you know, alcohol. You drink, you stagger, you know, smoke. And they all failed you. Christ cannot fail. My God will never fail. He never fail. He never fail. Him. Thank you so much. God bless you all. I love you all. Jesus loves you the more. Have a great evening. Have a great day, boss. Bless.